Assalamu alaikum, this is Bali Keys. So today's tutorial is on how to make an instant hijab, a double loop hijab. So what we need for this tutorial is minimum of 70 inches by 30 inches fabric. So it's just like cut, taking two yards of fabrics and cutting into two. But if you want a longer instant hijab, you'll be using about two and a half yards to make two double loop hijab. For here, I only cut two yards into two. So I have 72 inches by 30 inches. That is, the length is 72 inches and the breadth is about 30 inches. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to take her fabric. I'm using chiffon, by the way. I'm using chiffon. Is to take her fabric and sew it all around her the four corners. So I'm just going to do that so that's exactly what I'm doing you fold it into two or you fold it twice and then you just sew on it round so I'm just sewing on it I'm just doing that now so you just sew on it down so you are done with the four parts but if you feel it will be stressful for you or your hands is not really that straight then you can make use of an overlocking machine to do it so you just overlock all the sides using an overlocking machine. So I'm just doing that. I'm just sewing, making sure that my hands are straight. I'm just sewing. So just keep sewing them. So I'm just still sewing. Okay, so now I'm done sewing all the edges. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So after sewing, we should have something like this. Then the next thing we are going to do is to take our head circumference and add six inches to it. So my head circumference is 20 plus six that's 26 so folding 26 into two i'm going to have 13. so i just folded the 26 into two and i had 13. so the next thing i'm going to do is to measure my head circumference from that 13 point so after taking measurement of my head circumference which is 10. so from the 10 points to the remaining 13 inches i'm just going to sew down about three inches so i'm just doing about three inches 
So I'm going to do that now. And make sure you sew on the wrong side, not on the right side. So I'm going to sew that on the wrong side. So I'm sewing it now. And make sure you backstitch when you want to start sewing so that it can give it a lasting look and it won't start losing. So I'm just sewing that. So I'm done sewing it now. I'll just show you what it looks like. So after sewing, this is what we are going to have. And that's the head opening. So at the right side, we are going to have this. So the next thing we are going to do is to lay our fabrics on the table, then fold the remaining sides. So I'm just going to fold the remaining sides into two. Then after folding the main side into two, I'm just going to add about three inches to my head circumference. So if I had three inches to 23, to 20, that's 23. So divided by two, that will give me about 11 and a half. So basically I just added one and a half to half of my head circumference. So I marked 11 and a half inches and I'm going to sew about half inch down. So I see that already. So after sewing, that's the first part we sew, about three inches down. And this is the half inch that we sew. So after sewing, we are going to have this. And within a few minutes, our instant jab is ready. So make sure you try and practice yours. And use any fabrics of your choice. So this is my instant jab now. I'm just showing you what it looks like after sewing. So that's what it looks like. So make sure you try yourselves for practice. And thank you so much for watching. So that's the back view. You can see the V is very prominent. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye.